everyone i'm on the road once again for another explore with alex this week i'm heading up highway 178 just outside bakersfield california to lake isabella i have passed kern river valley and it's a majestic drive that takes you out of the city and into mother nature's backyard and as you can see the beautiful kern river is ready to greet you i am passing the beautiful kern river from bakersfield it's about an hour River is a popular destination for fishing, boating, and whitewater rafting. The upper and lower Kern River is popular for camping, hiking, and picnics. Kern River has very strong currents, cold water, and many hazardous below the waterline that make it too dangerous to swim in. Roughly 325 people have drowned in the Kern River since 1968. Signs all over warn people to stay out. I'm here, Lake Isabella in California. It's known for its stunning mountain views and outdoor activities and family-friendly attractions. The lake itself is a popular spot for swimming, fishing, and boating, while the surrounding area offers plenty of trails to explore. So camping here is $12 a night. Extra vehicle, $12. Day use and parking fee, $12. Quiet hours from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. Campground limit, 14 days. And campsite limited to six people. One of the largest reservoirs in Southern California with over 11,000 surface acres Fishing, motorized, and non-motorized boating, camping, windsurfing attract visitors to this beautiful body of water year-round. And it offers one of the best freshwater recreation experience in close proximity to Los Angeles and Bakersfield. This campground is Auxiliary Dam Recreation Site in Sequoia National Forest in Lake Isabella, California. Located on the southern end of Lake Isabella, off of Highway 178, near the town of Lake Isabella. No reservations is required and open year-round. Longest RV here is 37 feet. Maximum stay is 14 days for RV, trailers, and tent camping. In this campground, there are no designated sites. Only dirt roads going down the lake. Not very easy to find as level spot, but you can park right on the edge of the water. There's a pay station right at the entrance. The weekends are pretty busy at times. It gets windy but tolerable. And the wind helps cool off the 93 degrees heat. The water was really cold. The roads are dirt, but easy enough to drive on. There are some soft spots, so watch out for them. There's a dump station site towards the exit. Cell phone coverage was pretty good, easy to spread out and not too close to other campers. This place is about an hour east of Bakersfield.
There's lots of hiking trails and also off-roading around the area. Also big rig friendly. The campground has fresh water spigots. Also bathrooms and hot showers. Camp host was super helpful and friendly. This campground is dry camping, more of a dispersed camping. Pets are welcome. There's limited shade available, so bring your pop-ups. And of course, your tie down due to the winds. Depending on what time of the year, camp spots are first come, first serve. There are approximately 15 camp spots near the restroom and highway. There are spots that have picnic table and a fire ring. So guys, the spots near the restrooms are easier to get into than the spots along the water. Around the lake, it's open dry camping. Be aware there's no restrooms or water spigots along the lake. And there's no off-roading equipment or vehicles in the campground. Permits are required for any kind of fire. And permits are available online or your local ranger station. You can bring your boats or go fishing. Also, motorized boat permits are required. Bring your generators. Swimming is permitted. I saw people swimming, grilling. Also, you can bring your floaters. So, total number of sites here is 48 sites. No wheelchair accessible. So, nearby amenities, about one mile is downtown Lake Isabella. There's fuel there and grocery stores. The campground does not have an address. However, once you look up the Lake Isabella Auxiliary Dam, the map provided on the website is accurate. So guys, if you want to camp here, it is $12 per night. They also have the annual pass for $60. And if you're a senior citizen or disabled, your entrance for camping is $6. So guys, I also want to point out that this place is close to the Naval Weapons Station. So loud fighter jets, Roam roaring through the skies. The next campground that I'm going to go visit is South Fork Recreation Site, another campground on dirt parking along the lake's water edge. Camping here is $12 a night, two restrooms and we're pretty clean. The sites are right next to the busy road so it's not super quiet. First come first serve and launching boat access anywhere pretty much. This campground is also 10 and RV camping. Water spigots are available for fresh water. This is also a dry camping campsite. Fishing, water access, and also swimming.
until the next campground that I'm going to go visit. It's called Paradise Cove Campground. This one is $32 for vehicle camping, $8 for a second vehicle, and $12 for day use. Okay, so this one is Paradise Cove. And $12 for the day use. But then if you want to stay here overnight, it's $32 a night. Extra vehicle, $8. And they use 12 They have a fish cleaning station. And then this is the uh, campground. So I guess you just um, pick the site that you want. Like this one is, I can't even see it, but 39 maybe, 30. Long enough for a trailer. And then you just pay per night. This campground has 46 sites that are divided into two sections. The upper section has back-in campsites and the lower section has side-by-side -side parking all campsites have a view of the lake. The lake is known for trout fishing during colder months, also catfish, largemouth bass, bluegill, and white crappie. Temperatures can reach the 100s in the summer. RV and trailer hookups are not available at this campground. It's a dry camping. Individual sites at this campground operate on a six month rolling basis. So first come first serve and also they have reservations. This campground has wheelchair accessible in the parking lot and also in the entrance. There's restrooms with showers. Also, each campsite has its own picnic table and fire pit. A dump station is available. I also did notice that there's no privacy between sites. So when it gets busy on the weekends, I suspect it could be a whole different experience. Now this place is open year round. So guys, this one was Paradise Cove campground and there's several campgrounds around Lake Isabella so we're gonna go around a little bit more and see if there's any other ones there's about eight developed campgrounds nestled around the lake offering more than 800 family units and six group areas group sites require reservations so this one is a day use I came across this day use area located along the shore of Lake Isabella. It's a great spot for fishing, also located in Kern County. So you're probably wondering, can you find free camping around Lake Isabella? Yes, but these sites are typically dispersed and primitive with no facilities. Next I visited the South Fork Wildlife Area. The South Fork Wildlife Area provides fishing, hunting, canoeing, and hiking. Bird watchers and teachers come to study and teach about the ecological values of the forest.
So the last place I'm going to check out is Lower Ridge Bar, Day Use Area. This place is one of my favorite. The water seems to be a little calmer here and I do see people swimming. So I think I'm going to take a dip. Oh my god, this water is so nice. Wow, I love this place. Kern River, you guys. Okay, I'm going in. <laughs> 